Okay, so on this video, I'm going to show you how to run intra-class correlation coefficients. Um, so it, uh, the way that you would do this, I've got day one, day two, and body composition, right? And I want to know if this is a reliable measure. So I go up here to analyze. I'm going to go to scale. And scale is going to give me the option to do a reliability analysis. And I want to run a reliability analysis between day one and day two. Now, this is not the only thing you need to do. You have to click over here on statistics, and this table pops up. And the thing we want to make sure is that intra-class correlation coefficient is checked. And you'll notice that this model and type show up. So you've got a couple of options up here. Um, the one that we are going to uh, select is a two-way mix. In other words, um, what we're looking at here is random assignment of the individuals. And then here we are going to select absolute agreement. And absolute agreement is, in essence, looking at whether um, this value here agrees with this value. All right. And so once we've done though, that, we can click Continue. We can click OK. And we get Output here. So our output, if I scroll down to the bottom, the value that we're going to interpret here is your average measures. And so notice here is my intra-class correlation value. And we're doing average measures is the one we're going to look at. And we get a value of 0.815. So what exactly does this mean? Um, when looking at intra-class correlations, you want values that are greater than 0.7. So 0.81 is a good value, meaning that there is a correlation between the day one and the day two measures. So this is a good measure to use. Um, we know that our body, comp body fat measure that we're using is actually a reliable measure, which is a good thing for us.